these are the best cars in the world. And if you get invited, you've already won. These cars are, you know, they're just, there aren't that many of them left in the world. So it's really fun to be here to see some of them. And if I could write a song that would um, pay for me to own one of these cars, <laughs> that would be the end all goal. <laughs> it makes a really bad part of you come out, like an, an ugly monster raises his head, like, oh, if I could only own one of those. GTO. I had always aspired to own one of these cars, and this one actually owned by, was owned by a friend of mine in Hong Kong. And after what must have been two or three years of haggling, I finally pulled the trigger and, and, and got the car. Very happy that I did. It's very original, and I, and I very much hope that when I'm out racing the car, I don't alter that at all. The car remains a very easy car to drive. Compared to the short wheelbase, which was its immediate predecessor, same basic technical specification. The, com the, the comparison of the two cars is very different. This is an easy car to drive, 24 hours easier in this than it would be in a short wheelbase. They are very special cars. I mean, firstly, in terms of just the intrinsic beauty of the car and technical specification, I mean, it's gorgeous and, and mechanically wonderful. Uh, what it accomplished in period, winning the world championship of makes. And then what has evolved over the years is that a fraternity of owners has sort of grown up through, through nobody's planning uh, that share a very unique bond, a common interest, obviously. And I think the combination of those three factors make this a very, very special car.